Nah, she'll love that, your mum. Doesn't freeze, don't worry about this. Oh, you pay double in Oxford Street, thanks, love. Oi, Bill, do us a favour, keep an eye on the stool. I just want a quick word with my brother. I can see, I can see. Must be a take on your side, eh? I can see, I've got mince pies, all right? Now then, you're thinking, how can this be? It's a bloody tired dinner seat. Go and take a seat. Hello, sis. You're right. No, not really, Ernie. So, uh, what's the problem? Clients, the problem. When you've got the rag, then, and it's very good material, whatever you do with it, I mean, you never ever get a fruit in it. No. Laura? That's right, yeah, who are you? Tara McCann. I've got some gear for you. From Clive. Oh, right. Where? Well, it's in the car. I couldn't get any near. Ah, oh, can you manage to get it round? Yeah, of course, can. Yeah, now. Terry, you say? Yeah, Terry McCann. Right, Terry. Yes, uh, yes, if you would then. No, I'll be back in a minute. Well, look after this lady for me. Oh. Oh. There you go. Lovely. Clive, all right then, is he? Yeah, as far as I know. I don't see him that much. Oh, I thought you must work for him. No, I sort of work for another geezer who Clive gets a lot of his gear from. Oh, that'd be Arthur Daly, would it? Yeah, that's right. Do you know him? No, no, but Clive's mentioned him. I understand they're old friends. Well, they're more like drinking and business partners, you know. Where'd they usually drink, then? Well, I ain't the fountain of youth, that's for certain. <laughs> right, that should do it. Uh, Clive paid you, is he? No, it's all right. He sorts that out with Arthur. Oh, right. Well, thanks for bringing him down. That's all right. See you around. Bye. Hello. Hi, Charles. Was Arthur been in? Well, earlier, but he had a call from her indoors, didn't he? Seems confident he's trying to take up squatters' rights at his place. Arthur shot out of here at 110 miles an hour. Oh, terrific. Well, there's something bothering you, is it? I've just met the fourth Mrs. Cosgrove and confident junior, six year old. Serious? Well, I'm not even serious. Give us a drink, will you? Yeah, of course. Oh, can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, uh, we all right for a drink, then? No, I'm afraid not. It's just a members-only club. Well, can't uh, someone sign us in as guests? I mean, uh, punter's a punter, right? Oh, yeah, didn't I see you down the market? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Nah, that's all right. Take what's on to me. Oh, that's great. Somebody's nicked the bleeding bottle now, haven't they? Never mind, it's a stupid bit of legislation. What do you have, gents? I have a pint of lager, yeah. I'll have this one. I'll have half, yeah, cheers. Come on. So you're no confident client, do you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, it was him who recommended this drinker to us. When was it we last had a drink with Clive? Oh, I don't know. About a week ago, wasn't it? Yeah, about that, about that, yeah. I see in the paper that um, he got married the other day, eh? Right turnout by all the cash. Did you see it? See it? I was there, wasn't I? Nah, really? Bloody right. He does love a bird, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, he could say that, yeah. It's funny, that, though, cos... Uh, I thought he was married to this bird down the market, didn't oh, yeah, I? What's yeah. her name? Um, um uh, Nora. Uh, uh, Laura. Laura, that's, Laura, right. that's Laura. it, that's it, yeah. Got houseboat on the canal. I'd like to have another drink with him now. <laughs> Makes me laugh. <laughs> yeah. Getting here often, does he? Yeah, he has been lately. Oh, hold on. We'll see you in a minute. Have I got some news for you? You're not the only one. I've another one. Another one? Oh, shut up. Oh, God. And Chisholm reckons there's another one up in Northampton. Do what? Yeah. yeah. Terry, that man definitely yeah. needs deep therapy. Yeah. Yeah, well, hold on to your trilby. See the geezers down here? You still smoking that? Part? Yeah, what about them? Well, they reckon their mates are clothes, right? And they've got half an idea that he's webbed up to the bird who I deliver dresses to down the market. Oh, cool. No, I yeah. need another drink. Dave, double double. <laughs> now you're going to have to unload him. Before this all gets totally out of hand and we all end up in stuck. Unload him? Terry, the man's supposed to be a friend. Oh, coming from you, that's lovely. And who was it who once said to me, a friend in need is a pest? You. Now get rid of him. This is not like you at all, Terry. Yeah, well, you didn't see Angie's face, did you? No, I mean, looking after an honest thief, that's one thing, innit? Do you think they're talking about Clive? I'd like to offer generous odds. What do you reckon, then, eh? <laughs> Play it by ear. So what are we going to do about him? Well, I don't know. But the man owes me, Terry. I mean, I wouldn't want to lose contact with him. No, no. Yeah, it was what about those two? Wrong, eh? What about them? Well, they say their mates are Clive's and they... Seem to like his company and all that. What, you mean, get them to try and... Well, no, it's worth a try, isn't it? I well, already sure that's all right? Of course. No problem. Is it, Barry? No, no, not at all. See, um, as a matter of fact, I've got this mate just started a lagging at the scrubs, you know, and, uh, yeah, he asked me to uh, find someone to look after his flat for him while he's away, like, so... I suppose he could uh, hold up there, eh? Well, it'd be double handy. 
Yeah, come on. Uh, where are we going, then? We'll take you to him. But I've got a little bit of business to finish with him first. Come on, Dave. Uh, Arthur! Slay. Perhaps he's in here. There he is. Oh, yeah. Clive! Clive! Hi, uh, Arthur! So... There he is. Hello, Clive! Arthur! You dummy! What are you doing bringing them here? Hey? Hold on, hold on. What's going on? One of the women of that slate con into marrying him happens to be our sister, son. Well, you understand there. Get after them. Stop them. He might deserve it. Terry, if he gets hurt, you'll never forgive yourself, and I'll never get my dough. Terry! Terry! Terry, for God's sake, help me! Terry, you can't stand by and see him get battered. This was all your idea, remember? Oh, Terry! Quite all right. My pleasure. Don't worry about that. Get a move on before they find out we've got. Yeah, move it loudly. I said they're Laura's brothers. They're lunatics. All right, all right. We see that. On. You weren't thinking of shooting off without us, were you? No, 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 no. As if I do a thing like that. Just getting the car warmed up for a quick getaway.